before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to quickly jump in and tell you guys thank you so much for your unbelievable and overwhelming love and support on our participation in yesterday's Blackout Tuesday. I really, really wish that YouTube would have left the comments up because I don't think I've seen a more loving and unified forum discussion on this topic anywhere on the internet than I saw in our comment section yesterday. We were absolutely just blown away by the comments of love, of caring, of unity, of solidarity. To say that it touched us and moved us and warmed our hearts would be a massive understatement. We sat right here, Mindy on the stairs, just over there, and me on my chair, reading the comments, literally in tears. Made us so proud of this family. We absolutely love you guys, and we try every day to live a life that is inclusive, sets an example of unconditional love. To see that that is the family that we have grown worldwide brought us immeasurable, indescribable joy. We could never put into words what it meant to see that that's who we have as a part of this family. Thank you guys from the bottom of our heart. We love you, um, and let's roll with today's vlog. Hello and good morning everyone. I just got home from a run. Kids are all still sleeping. You guys, it's 8.30. We had a very, very late night last night. We went over and celebrated my niece Ava's birthday party as a family. Our kids did not get home until like 10.30. We just had so much fun playing and so they just stayed outside and they kept playing and they kept playing and they kept playing. Us as adults just kept talking and talking and talking. I got up early today, got my day started, went for a run. Clearly I'm still cooling off. Brandon just came downstairs, he went down to work out. I'm gonna tackle a project today. Apparently I'm not very good at singing to my vegetables. All my vegetables are dying. I literally don't even know what has happened. What I've done, I've done a little bit of research, talked to a few neighbors, and they have said I probably need to enrich my soil, fix the soil, so I'm going to dig out all the plants. I'm going to dig out a lot of the soil, put in new soil, and plant new plants. Hopefully, I'm early enough in the season that they'll still grow. Man, that's a bummer. Guess I need to get better at singing. Brandon is the one that started singing, so maybe he's not doing a good enough job. If you guys know what I'm talking about, give this video a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. He did a great job. Must have stopped. I don't know. I don't get it. Let's go check on those little guys. Besides the fact that there are a ton of weeds growing. I don't know, I just don't feel like anything's doing well. This is my tomato plant. One of them has been stepped on right there, you can see, and one of them like just totally disappeared. Literally don't know what happened to it. There's my jalapenos. Just don't feel like they're growing very well. Cucumbers are not growing well. Strawberries, my green peppers, more green peppers. I just feel like nothing is turning out and it's like this dirt is so dry, so just gross. After checking out my dirt and my plants and it's just not going well, I think what I'm gonna do is dig out this whole portion come out today and fix it. I think I'm gonna have to get it wet, water it a little bit to make it so I can easily dig it up, fix it. Been such a pain. I did pop my cilantro right here and my rosemary and my thyme. This one isn't doing too well, but the other ones are doing pretty awesome. As soon as the kids wake up, I'm gonna get them settled. Maybe take one of them to the store with me. Go get the stuff that I need to finish this garden. And hopefully it'll work this time. They're finally awake! You guys, the kids are finally at Brexton. Good morning. Good morning. You tired? You guys had a really late night last night. Mm -hmm. Crew Ruby's up too. I heard Miss Hazy is awake because I heard Alexa singing happy birthday upstairs. Don't know why. She's awake too, so kids are getting up, which means I can get going on the day. They slept until almost 9.30, which I cannot say that they've ever done that before. Kids are all up, they've all had breakfast. I'm gonna run to the store and go get the topsoil and go get new plants. I don't even know if this is what I should be doing. I am at a loss because I don't feel like the soil's good, I don't feel like the plants are thriving, so we are just gonna do this. Kids have a to-do list of things to get done while I'm gone. Miss Hazy is gonna come with me and help me pick out the perfect plants and the perfect topsoil. We're gonna get going on this project. Miss Hazy and I came to Walmart. We are trying to find the perfect tomatoes. I did buy my tomatoes at Costco last time, but I'm not going to Costco soon, so I figured I would just find what I can here. They have so many different kinds of tomatoes, I just called my mom. Mom, she didn't answer me. I don't know which ones to buy. I do know that we want to do a red pepper and a green pepper. Easy. Do you want to help me find those? Yeah. We also want... Bum, bum. That is a pepper. That's smart. Here's a red bell pepper. We know we want this. I had two of those. Yeah. So let's grab two of those. Will you grab two for me? We'll grab just the little container. This one looks really good and healthy. Here's this one. Okay, there's one. This one also looks really good, Hazel. I thought you need more. I do need more. Those are just the red peppers. Look, I found green peppers too. This is what we had before. Let's get these ones down here. These ones are pretty big. I would grab those too. Do you want to grab those two for me? This one looks healthy. That one looks healthy? Wow, you're so good at picking these. Thank you. There we go. I could not remember what pepper I got, but I got a jalapeno pepper. These all look pretty good. Hopefully we're off to a good start. Hezy, I want two of those. Do you want to grab both of those for me? Yeah. Such a big helper. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Look how long your hair is getting. Such a big girl. 
Ryler really loves cucumbers, so let's grab him some cucumbers. Let's get two of them. You knew what a cucumber was. Let's get these bottom ones. These ones look healthier. Let's do this one and this. Maybe those two? These look healthy. Those ones do look healthy and good. Yeah, what? We need more because I got only has two cucumbers. Cucumbers. That's okay. Hopefully that will give us good cucumbers. And then for I think tomatoes, I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try a couple. I'm gonna try a celebrity, aroma, and a beefsteak. I'm gonna try three different kinds. Whoa, mom, that's big. This one looks good. Put him right here. Let's try this Roma. Oh, let me hold that. You wanna put him right here? Right and by your brother. A celebrity. What about the oil? I think I have all of the ones that we bought before, except they don't have strawberries. I can go find some somewhere else. Or you know what? We might have just missed the boat. Who knows if this is even gonna work? You guys but I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna try again I just don't know why this is happening I just don't know what I'm doing wrong so I need to figure it out when I check out I'll just pay for the potting soil and I'll just drive up and grab it not the potting soil the garden soil drove by and checked out to see what they had found some good ones so I'm gonna get that you have been the best helper for mommy today I'm so grateful for your help So while we're working on the stuff over here in the corner, Rye Guy's gonna set up this fun water table for Hazy, and this is gonna be a fun way- I got way. the hose for him. Oh, you got the hose for him? So it's a fun way to keep her entertained, but also kind of cool off. It's warm, but it's breezy, like it's not too bad. Whoa, nice job. What are we doing here, Mom? What is the plan with this garden? Whatever you wanna Whatever call Whatever you call this piece of grass. So whenever I would water it, you could just see the water just like run off of it. It's like nothing would sink in. So my neighbor was telling me, maybe try and get new soil in there. So I'm gonna dig up everything, till it. I bought myself a tiller. Look at this, guys. We've got the tools. We've got shovels, like tillers. A real I've now. got a pickaxe. Look at those guns as you hold that by the way okay. careful so i'm gonna dig it all up bought new stuff this tomato plant actually might be salvageable. okay so hold up we are trashing everything you've done it's all dead and we've got new stuff to fill in so this Some is of might be salvageable that one looks okay yeah the other ones are pretty much just gonna go you have no idea why this is happening don't know other than you stopped singing to it no i was reading it stories nope you did one time you just did it one time <laughs> well i have to admit i'm a little bit excited to give this a fresh start because i do feel like this dirt and soil if you even want to call it that has never been suitable for growing anything actually you can see these raspberries which can grow just about anywhere and cannot be killed off for anything stop right there and nothing grows past that I don't know it could have something to do with this honestly no idea something about right here is just not conducive to growing I'm not gonna say that it's Mindy she feels like it's her and that she's terrible at this but it definitely has something to do oh hey crew has something to do with the soil and the dirt here and it's mostly just rock like where we live it's very close to the mountain so it's mostly just rock not a lot of dirt so what we're gonna do is dig this entire thing up clear it out go down a layer I don't know however much thick till it all up pour over topsoil and then replant everything and we feel like that could be the solution that could work because I think mom talked about this earlier but these were completely dead and all she did is move them into new soil a different pot soil inside of this potter and immediately overnight sprung back to life so we're hoping for similar results in the corner garden perfect thank you bro So we are nearing completion on the removing of the top layer of soil, which is going down about three inches on this cruddy dirt. <laughs> Trying to save this little tomato plant, it's about the only one that may have survived this first round. Once we get this all out, we're gonna lay down the top soil across here and then start replanting. You may have seen, I've been taking wheelbarrows of dirt into the neighbor's backyard. Thankfully, that is with their permission. In fact, they need to fill up their yard to the top of those cinder blocks. And so they said it actually helps them if we remove the dirt, put it in their backyard, it saves them some dirt that they need to bring in. Worked out for both of us. We needed a place to store some dirt and they needed some extra dirt. So that's where we're disposing of all this. And then, like I said, we're about there. We found skeleton bones in, the in garden. our garden, you guys. Look at this.
Moving into phase, I don't know what you'd call this, two, three, and a few phases in this. We are now to where we want to be. Start spreading the topsoil across this. Mindy made the observation that as we were pulling out the last bits of rocks and kind of combing out, tilling the top, we're now down to that clay, muddy, better type soil. The top is just that dead, of, lifeless like, dust. Hang up, rag guy just came around the corner. He cut this ginormous, look at that. That rose so is from our front yard, dude. It's so cool. What's it for? Hazy. Oh, beautiful hazel, look oh, at that. I oh my gosh. It. It's gorgeous. That what is do you huge. tell him? That's as big as your head. What do you say? <laughs> Thank you, Burger. Smell it. strategizing the layout here, just kind of getting a lay of the land, literally. <laughs> and we've got five bags of new topsoil down, new layout with the fresh veggies. It just looks better. Like, I feel like the soil looks well, more. I guess this is how it works. You know, you've got to have a firm foundation and a solid foundation to be able to grow. Wait a minute. Did Life you just lesson. go philosophical again? Oh my yeah, gosh. I tell ya. Boy, just bike rides out and in gardening. Nature just really just brings <laughs> it out in me. Philosopher Mindy, just laying down knowledge in the garden here. While we are planting those veggies out there and getting a fresh start in the garden. Not sure why it keeps happening, but the stuff just dies right there. It literally just dies. Never even shows signs of life. We don't know why it keeps happening. But another thing that we don't know why it's happening. This one, I don't know that I will bring you in quite as closely with POV GoPro footage and close up detailed shots because it involves our cat and him not going in his litter box. So the real problem is that he will go into the front door of the litter box, but he won't go all the way in. He will stop just at the entrance. And so like half goes in, half goes out. <laughs> it's disgusting guys. We don't know why it's happening. The new thing, it's a litter box that he's had for a little bit. So I don't think it's that same litter that he's had. We're not entirely sure why he's doing that. You know why you're doing that, buddy? You know what the deal is with you, like, not going all the way into the litter box? Like, you'll go in, the door will kind of open up a little bit, and you just stop right there and crouch. Yeah, so you know you're doing it then. Well, okay, we're trying to help you. Got online, did a little bit of research. You don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. One of my favorite things that I found says that basically it could be because it's too big, too small, too dark, too light, too clean, too dirty, too high, too short. Basically, cats do what the heck they want when they want, and there's no really telling why. So, one of the recommendations was to get a second litter box, maybe put a different litter, a different design of box, and put it next to it and let the cat choose which one they want to go all the way into. I'm going to go pick up a second litter box, another type of litter, set it up next to his original one, the one that he's been using, and see if that will convince him to go in more because not only does it create a mess, it also creates creates not the greatest smell in the basement. For those of you cat lovers out there, people who know about cats, maybe go over to our Instagram if we don't have comments here. Let us know your thoughts because I do love to get the opinion of the community, especially because we do have a lot of people out there who are pet owners, who are cat lovers and cat owners. So I did a bunch of research and there's really just no definitive reason. There's a bunch of potential reasons, but if you've ever had that happen, or if you know why, drop a comment or head over to our Instagram and let us know what you think. It's also not burying it as much because it's kind of just going like right on the edge and then he just walks right back out, doesn't spend time burying it. So that also doesn't help with the smell. Is there anything that we can do to fix that problem? This is step one. I'm gonna try a second litter box, see if that that helps the problem. So what are the teams here? It looks like everyone against Ryler. <laughs> It is all finished up. Just barely finished planting it all. Which is perfect because the sun just came out on this side of the house. From now until the end of the day, it's gonna get full sun, which is what all of these require. It's got good soil, it's got miracle grow, lots of water. Let's hope for the best. So this is the one that he currently has. He actually used to have this one, but I felt like it was too small because he's a pretty big cat. That's why I switched to this one because it was much bigger. But this is the one he's not going in. So I wonder if I should re-get this one from before there was problems and see if he likes a little smaller setting. Since it's really the only other option here besides an open one that doesn't have like a dome. I don't know how that works with smell and dust. I feel like that's the one I've got to go with. So 
now we have three options, three different designs, sizes, shapes, configurations, three different litters. We've got basically a kitty litter estate going on here. One thing that I immediately noticed though that I just didn't pay attention to is this is his old one that he used to use. And look at how high that is. So in order for him to get in there, he's got to go all the way in for sure, let it shut and then do his thing. This one's so low, he really isn't forced to go all the way in. I think that may be part of the problem. And then we've never done an open one. I thought I'd just see what he thinks of that and how bad it is. So I don't know. Just giving him three choices here. See if that solves the problem. Cause we love our kitty. We just don't necessarily love the smell of his bathroom. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, what an unexpectedly amazing finish to the night. We had a bunch of friends and neighbors just stop by, unexpectedly camp out on our porch. We sat, we talked, our kids played, they rode bikes up and down the street, we laughed, the weather stayed perfect the entire time, and before we knew it, it was like 11 o'clock. So we rushed the kids in, got them into bed, got them bathed. Mom is getting herself ready for bed, tying up some loose ends with laundry and things like that. I'm gonna get started editing this vlog. It is now 11.30. It is not typical here in the Bingham household, you guys, but it was the perfect finish to the perfect summer day. Day, sat on the porch talking and laughing and paying no attention to the clock. One for the memory books, you guys. Stoked to finish off the night that way. Stoked to have that garden out and growing and going a little bit better. Stoked to have Laz's three cat litter options now available to him. I'll let you guys know which one he chooses and which one we go with. But come back tomorrow. I'm going to get my leg checked out, my final second and final opinion on my leg. Come back to the original surgeon who performed the surgery in the first place, as well as we also have Hazy's dance recital. It's only a short 20 minute recital with only five family members allowed per dancer, only three dancers involved. It's going to be a very different, modified, recital, but it should be still a lot of fun and very, very cute. So come back tomorrow, you guys. We love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of our family, a part of our lives. We just absolutely love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.